Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general rain for the week of July 9th, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Also want to put out there the bonus video for July is going to Sagittarius, and that will post later on the channel's playlist under monthly. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video, and please check my calendar for availability. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet them. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, looks like a really, really good week looking at Virgo. Um, small wish is granted. More than one wish is granted for Virgo this particular week, actually. Um, but what I want to describe in, the, in regards to love life and relationship, and this applies uh, to my couples, I'm looking at good communication. Uh, to my singles, I'm going to have to say intense. More than one opportunity presents itself this week. Uh, balance is being restored. Uh, celebration is at hand. Like I said, more than one rush granted. So let's take a look. This is for Virgo for your week of July 9th, 2018. Virgo, you start with the major account kind of the sun, followed by the ace of cups, the four of wands, Major Arcana of the Star, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So let me break this down for you guys. Starting with the sun, the sun shines brightly in all that you do. Uh, you're in a good spot. You feel it. You know it. Things are going well for you guys. Ace of Cups, good communication and love. My singles, new beginnings in love. Okay, so love life is very strong for Virgo this particular week. Four of Wands indicates positive changes on the home front, also happiness in the home. But definitely some changes going on there. Next, we have the Major Arcana of the Star. And the Star shows you're making future plans, but there's delays attached to them. Next to that, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, new beginning in finances. Uh, this could also represent good business deals. Like I said, don't forget, you guys have got more than one wish being granted this week. Seven of Cups is the card of daydreaming. Now, Virgo, the nice thing about you and daydreaming, when Virgos take the time to daydream, you're actually manifesting what you want to see happen. So definitely take the time for that. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords. We have a major arcana of the moon. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, what we're looking at here, Queen of Pentacles, like I said, you are under a new financial beginning. It reflects here in the Queen of Pentacles with sound financial decisions. Then you have some of a warning coming in. Knight of Swords always indicates what is coming rushing in, okay? Now, with the moon, with that Knight of Swords, that combination, be warned, guys, deception, someone is not being honest with you, okay? Then next to that, we end with the Nine of Wands. And like I said, overall, socially, this is really a busy week for you guys. Work-wise, it's a good, strong week for you. But you end with that Nine of Wands just showing that you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Okay? So definitely not a bad week. What we're looking at on your major arcanas, don't forget you have the sun. The sun shines brightly under all that you do. You're under two new beginnings in love and in finances. We have delays in future plans. And then you guys ended with a warning of that deception rushing in, like towards the end of the week. So, thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.